Running hasn't always come easy for me. I've had to work really hard at building up my aerobic base. And after the last year of ups and downs, I'm finally seeing the light. I'm about 95% healthy. I'm raring to go. I'm excited and I just want to hit the road. This morning was one gloomy day and it took everything I had to get out the door. The big problem with the Maffetone method is something that I'm gonna to talk to you about in this video today. The Maffetone method, when using the MAF formula, it's really like an average, right, for the average person. And to be quite honest, the best way to know where all of your zones are is basically going to a lab and getting it tested. When you're running slow to be able to get faster, Using the Maffetone method is awesome for this. However, a problem arises when you want to run a race because you all of a sudden end up on the start line and go, holy crap, what should I be running? I have no idea. All I've been doing is just running slow for like ever. So that could be a problem if you don't plan it out correctly. A lot of people, myself included, this has happened to, where you end up running a half marathon or a marathon or whatever, and you've trained slowly for so long that you don't even really know what your running pace is gonna be. All you know is basically heart rate. You may wanna slowly ease into your anaerobic training about a month before your marathon, because at least you get a little bit of leg turnover and you know what's going on. Now, the other thing, you, what you could do is at the end of some of your runs during the week, maybe one run, two runs, you go, maybe you do some strides at the end of it. That could also help as well. I've actually done that last year and it helped me a lot. So obviously I'm gonna be incorporating that back in during this training cycle. If you never train your fast twitch fibers in your muscles, then it may be hard for you to actually run fast at some point. And again, I realized this last year, technology is gonna fail you. Just like on my run today, my watch is all over the place. Sometimes it's high, sometimes it's low, makes no sense. So putting all of your eggs in one basket when it comes to heart rate training can be a real problem because you just don't know when the technology is gonna fail you. Cadence can also be a problem. I know when I run really slow, my cadence goes kind of way down. And sometimes it's kind of hard to know even what your cadence is when you're walking and running. My heart rate, I don't know what it is because my, my watch is all over the place and I forgot my strap at home. So I don't even know what perceived effort is anymore. And you have to walk and the weather is really, really cold. Man, you gotta like layer up because walking is way different than running and the amount of heat you, uh, you produce is way different. So think about that <laughs> as you start or you come back into this whole base building period. Man, I forgot all about this. Hey guys, my name is David Waters. I'm the Plant Powered Runner. And on my channel, I talk about running, heart rate training, nutrition, gear reviews, and my struggles and my successes with the Maffetone Method. I am right now training for a 100 mile race. It's gonna be a little while before I run it, but this is day one. And I'm gonna share all the ins and outs and things I learned along the way and take you to all the cool places that I'm gonna go run. So if any of these things sounds interesting to you and you wanna follow my journey, my story, then click the subscribe button, like the video, and click the bell notification because you'll get to know when I've just posted a video. And if you don't, I'll tell you a secret, it's Thursdays and Sundays. <laughs> Your top end speed is gonna, gonna disappear for a while. Your VO2 max will start to go down. And for some people, they see that as being a problem. And if you're just starting out trying to build your base, don't worry about the, the, the high end speed, it'll come back. So for some people, they'll see it as a problem. And for others like me, eh, I don't know. 
because I mean it'll come back your vo2 max is you know you can get there pretty quickly in a you know a couple of months or so another problem with using the math tone method aka math training is if you're on medication there's a lot of people in the world that are on medication and if you are and this is like regular medication that you take all the time you are going to be reducing your beats per minute by 10 and that can be a big problem for some people because they're already slow enough as it is and if you're at going even slower it's like you're basically standing still so for some people that could be very difficult pill to swallow pardon the pun <laughs> but that's just what your film f don't talks about that's why I say it's super important to know what your numbers are if you get a chance and go to a lab and get tested to find out what all your zones are, that could be so beneficial to help you in your running. This method, running slow, long, slow distances, may not work for some people. They just don't have the time to do it. So they wanna run, you know, quick 5Ks and 10Ks, and that's all cool. But again, you may not see the results if you're only putting in you know, maybe 10, 15, 20 miles a week. That may not be enough to really start to see the benefits that the Maftone method can provide. Taking 180 minus your age, that's the easy thing. The hard thing and the big problem comes is when you have to start reducing it because of your injuries. Running at a slow heart rate really, really helps the body ease into running. It helps build that aerobic base. It helps with the stress on your ligaments and on your bones and on your muscles because if you start off too fast too soon boom you're going to get hurt so the Mavito method is really good for coming back from injuries and starting off running and you haven't been running for a while and it's great to be able to build an aerobic base for people that have never built an aerobic base so there's a lot of good points to this as well as some of the the problems that i've also pointed out some of you may not agree with me and that's okay I'm just pointing things out as I see them for others who may be uh, just getting into this or people who have been doing this for a while and have forgotten this is only my point of view there's so many others out there who have different points of view so anyways this is an unbiased opinion I just like this method and it works the man the struggles on day one are real. I made a video of my ultra marathon when I ran 50 miles and it was a year ago, two days ago. Looking back on it, it's kind of astounding I was able to do what it is I did. If you want to actually see how I progressed and how I did in that run, go ahead and click here. Thanks everyone. Like I always say, get out and run. Starting over is never fun. It's never easy but it has to be done.